you can even see this in the stories they don't run. So the NBA, the NBA, which I don't watch, has these two players, Montrezl Harrell and Luka Doncic. I'm, I'm certain I didn't pronounce this correctly, but sort of secondary to my point. So they were playing a basketball game, and uh, Mr. Harrell uh, made a good shot or something. And uh, so as he was walking away after this great play, you can see him mouth on camera into close-up the phrase, well, bleep me if I, I think I'm allowed to say, bitch-ass white boy. That was the phrase that he said. I don't, know if, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on the air, but if I'm not, you know, just bleep me. That's what he says. It's like, uh, like WAP, but another, but a, a variation of that phrase. Now, people in the heat of sports, these are obviously top athletes. These are intense competitors. You're going to say things. You're going to say rude things, mean things, get in each other's heads. So I don't really blame this guy. However, imagine if it were reversed. Imagine if it weren't a black athlete saying that to a white athlete, but a white athlete making a similar comment to a black athlete. You would have wall-to-wall coverage, 24-7 news. Not only would the team be shut down, the league would be shut down. Maybe the country would be shut down with protests. But the reason that the media and the liberal establishment would encourage that is because it would serve their ends of sowing discord, diminishing American political unity, diminishing the ability of, of the American citizens to speak to one another, to communicate, to, to determine in our own deliberative bodies how to govern ourselves. And by pushing or by ignoring this story, they move right along. They continue to stoke the flames of racial division when it comes to BLM. Never, never any story on the other way. I hope you enjoyed that short segment from The Michael Knowles Show. Be sure to check out the full episode linked in the description or download the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts.